Wednesday I'm here at this Lungten Zampa bridge and I'm heading towards the bus booking to cancel ticket which I bought yesterday one was bought for me and one for my sister so I'm here waiting for someone to buy the tickets because I couldn't uh, sell to the counter they wouldn't uh, take it back because it's the last moment and I'm looking for someone to buy the tickets and it's not an easy job especially when you are not sitting in a counter well finally I managed to sell one of the tickets out of two and I'm waiting for my sister and her husband at this place below Lungten Zampa finally they arrived and I got into the car um, taking the back seat two of them are in the front seat and there are lots of stuffs here they have carried a lot of things and that's my brother-in-law driving last year we went to Tsirang in 2020 Diwali time and we had lots of fun and enjoyment this year we are traveling months ahead of Diwali due to some emergencies and we may not be able to meet up and enjoy just like last year however let me show you all the highlights of this journey and I hope you'll have fun with me all the way towards Serang. Well, some people who visit Bhutan complain of lots of twists and turns on the road. However, many also enjoy the twists and the turns on the road. And it is the charm of the road. We never know what lies ahead. So, just like that, in life too, we never know what lies ahead of us. We just need to face it and embrace whatever we have in front of us and enjoy every bit of it. We started late from Thimphu, bit late, at around 11 a.m. And uh, let's see if we're lucky or not. If we're lucky, we will be reaching Tsirang before it's dark. Currently, we are still here around Yusepang. And my video here is shaky because I've got my camera out of the window and the wind is blowing the camera that's why the video is appearing shaky however I hope you are enjoying the scenario here it's a beautiful day today and you can see lots of greeneries around look at the cloud up there very bright sky 
with white clouds and then it's very fresh today everything is looking fresh and beautiful Well, there seems to be a road jam ahead and let's find out what it is about. <laughs> Since the roads are small, we have to be very careful while driving. So, if we want to overtake the other vehicle, we have to look at the, all the sides back front and look at the possibilities and then only overtake the vehicle otherwise we will just land up in trouble with accidents Well, the video must be getting lengthier however I couldn't miss out this scenario I couldn't cut off the video because they look so beautiful and refreshing And now we are here at the Hongzhou check post so if you are an outsider you have to show your documents here so that they can keep a track of where are you and where do you go especially for your own safety in case if you go missing if anything happens to you they can easily you know find it find you out and help you out moreover you can get into accidents so that's why it's for your own safety and during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic we too have to register online before traveling uh, anywhere further in other places of Bhutan so that they can contact trace and check your travel details and contact person
Well, we are going to reach Dochula soon and the road here is uphill and we have to climb uphill and we'll reach Dochula and once we reach Dochula then the road again happens to be downhill there so currently it's a uphill road and once we reach Dochula I'll have my breakfast I hadn't I didn't have breakfast today morning because I had to go to the bus booking early and uh, my sister has brought some lunch for me uh, I mean breakfast lunch will have later so I'll be having breakfast late breakfast and then we'll be continuing the journey and this place also bears rhododendron during the seasons and they look very colorful and beautiful during those times and currently we are almost there at Dochula now Well, we are going to stop here at Dochla for a quick breakfast. All right, the view from Dochula, you can see the mountain peaks out there. Usually the snow caps, but then Today it's covered by the clouds, however you can enjoy the view around here. And Dochula today looks extra beautiful on this bright sunny day. This place Dochula has got 108 stupas, also known as Chotin in Bhutan. And they were built by our eldest 
Queen Mother of Bhutan, Ajidoji Wangmu Wangchu, to honor the martyred soldiers during the 2003 war and also to celebrate the victory of Bhutan against the militants who were residing in our territory and uh, causing harm to the people by carrying out various attacks. The war took place in the year 2003 and it was led by the fourth king of Bhutan, King Jimmy Singhiwachu, who was then the reigning king of Bhutan. And it is said that he is the first modern head of a state to lead an army into a battle. And with no former experience in the war, His Majesty the Fourth King led an army into the battle. But it is said that His Majesty gave orders very systematically. There were a few casualties and it is said that if the army had followed the orders correctly they could have even avoided the casualties moreover it is said that his majesty the fourth king went into the battle on the front line and he risked his life for the people of Bhutan for the sovereignty of Bhutan and people of Bhutan revere him a lot And let's also explore more around here. And there is also a shop here. If you need anything else from here. And there is a signboard too regarding the restroom this place today is very silent with not much of people around just the three of us and uh, just a few people passing by and this is my breakfast brought by my sister i'm also going to enjoy the view and have my food here it's rice with mushroom curry and let me enjoy the view around and enjoy my food you to enjoy the view Well, breakfast is over and we are continuing our journey and from here the road goes downhill. And the road ahead is very dangerous it's very accident prone area around here so you have to make sure that you keep on the left hand side and avoid overtaking around here especially when it's with 
blind corners. We are here around Lampere currently. Now we have reached this place called uh, Messina and you, you can see beautiful paddy fields from here. And there are some vegetable sheds around here so if you want any local products of the place And ladies and gentlemen, that one with the green roof must be the Tinlegang school and we are approaching the small Tinlegang town. What a green pasture around here and more vegetable sheds and what a green paddy field once again great view what fascinates me are those green paddy fields and mountains all the greeneries Currently we are here around Lobesa and it lies between Thimpu and Wangdi and it falls under Punakha district. However, if you take the left from this place, from this town, you can reach the proper Punakha district. So this is the route, the left hand side. This way leads to the proper Punakha. And one thing you should know is since in Bhutan we do not have any traffic lights you have to give way to the pedestrians whenever they are passing through a zebra cross. So whenever a pedestrian steps on a zebra cross you have to give way immediately or be ready to pay the fine or penalty.
and that place across the river out there is Baju town it's a beautiful town next we will be at the Wang Bifo Drang check post shortly Alright, we are stopping here at the Wang Bifo Drong check post because my sister and her husband has got some stuffs to be delivered to their relatives. And that there is the Wang Bifo Drong zone which is being reconstructed to its former glory after the 2012 fire year. And the bus which I didn't ride today is also just following us, just behind us. Alright, the parcels are delivered and we are continuing our journey from here, from the Wang Difo Drong check post and what else have we got around here? There are some windmills around there. It's the renewable source of energy for the community over there. And there is the Wang Difo Drong zone on the hilltop. Thank you. 
finally we are entering the Punatangchu tunnel. time back when this tunnel was newly being built people used to share their experience about going through this tunnel and we would be very excited and very curious to try it out now this tunnel is several years old and we have to pass through this tunnel whenever we go to Watsirang or any nearby district and finally there's light at the end of the tunnel and beautiful sight of the river here we are just driving by the riverside Now we are here at the Kamichu check post and once we cross the bridge we are entering the Tsirang district not a proper Tsirang though but the places fall on the Tsirang
ladies and gentlemen boys and girls well I hope you are having fun with me I don't know whether you are having fun or not but then I'm having a lot of fun around here and I'm enjoying the every bit of the journey every part of it and there is a gentle breeze and I can feel the freshness in this uh, scorching heat and I feel the freshness and I hope you two are enjoying here we stop for lunch and this is one of the most uh, common places where public transport services stop for lunch and my sister and her husband has brought some rice and some curries and I ordered some chicken from the nearby restaurant we are done with lunch and we are taking some break and let me go around and explore this place more there's a papaya tree around here with papayas growing they look very very tasty and uh, some construction signboard and look at the greeneries around here greeneries fascinates me a lot especially the paddy field and what do we see some berries or plant flowers i don't know what are these and some bananas hiding bananas and we continue our journey from here look at this place for one last time looks like it's a beautiful community around here all filled with paddy fields and greenery is very beautiful place however i would be suffocated to live here with mountains on the both the sides but then people must be used to it and there is the bus once again and the bus is either in front of us or behind us most of the time Finally, we are here just below the Dampu Middle Secondary School and we are almost at Dampu now and I had to delete all the video clips in between due to the shadows so you can see there the sun, set, sun is setting so the sun rays has damaged my video clips they look awful so i deleted most of them and this is the dumpfu middle secondary school looks like the school got over for the day because you can see some students outside the gate and ready to go home and look at this beautiful gardens maintained around the school the flowers at dumpfu are very beautiful the sun's getting low, it's setting and this is the petrol pump and now we are here we enter Dumpu town and we got some shoppings to do for the next few days so we'll go round and round and explore the town this is Dumpu town ladies and gentlemen let's explore
well the sun is getting low and it's setting for the day we bought all the things we wanted and we are heading to us village Finally, we are here at our sister's place and look who's here. It's our little nephew who has come to receive us and he looks a bit shy today but then his shyness will fade away soon. <laughs> well, that's it for today and if you want to watch more videos, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel and I'll be back with more interesting videos from during my stay here in Serang. And for now, I'll leave you with some pictures of the day.